Brody here. What's up, YouTube? Gonna do a knife I've never done before. Uh, nothing special. Uh, I've done the Rambo 3 and the Rambo 1 and still own those knives, but I've got the two. So let's take a look at this. Let's look at the silly box. There we go. The Hollywood collectible version. This one even has a sharpening diamond type steel in the uh, sheath. So it's kind of special. The box has got a spot if you want to display the box, the knife in the box, I guess. There's... All right, that's the box. Who cares, right? Yeah, let's get to the knife. There we go. Leather sheath. Got the sharpening steel thing in here. This is actually diamond. So this is actually makes it a little bit closer to the real version. Uh, I can't get it together. Don't seem too bad. I imagine it would work. I'll probably never use it. Alright. Let's get to the knife. Of course, these are a little bit over 15 inches long, I believe. I don't have a numbered version. I don't care about having a signature version. I'd rather have nobody's name on the knife. I don't Is a master cutlery. I've brushed this one up where it's very sharp. Of course, it's got the stuff in the end. I'm not going to take it out. The compass is in there, but and the Phillips screwdriver on the end. Uh, we can see that, and the straight blade, cord wrapped handle. Just another one to add to my collection. <clears throat> of course, I still have the, th the three and the one. Actually, the one is sitting right here. I have a different version than the one I used to did a review on. It's got the sharpening pouch right there, too. Leather sheath. Master cutlery version, too. It's got the same type box. I mean... You guys know what these are, so. Alright, peace out, guys.